This is the chapter two discussion on the REM environment. We'll start with electronic business activities. The internet is a worldwide network of computers used to send, store, and receive electronic information. The World Wide Web is a network of computers that can read documents containing hyperlinks. Locations called websites can be accessed by anyone who has an internet connection. E-commerce is used to communicate and transact business using networks and commuter, computers. One of our largest companies with e-commerce is Amazon. E-commerce systems use a combination of technology, the organization's databases, server applications, and browser software. Management of e-commerce involves the company's information technology, records management, and the legal departments. Electronic fund transfer and data interchange provides an electronic payment and collection system. EFT is safe, secure, and efficient. EDI, or Electronic Data Interchange, allows the exchange of standardized documents through computers. Usually, PDF is one of the standardized documents that we use. Information managers should ensure that the records transmitted are authentic, correct, and usable. If you've purchased a new house recently, then you may have done a lot of the transmitting of the documents that you've signed online. Records information management is not new. Tragedies and corporate scandals in recent years have affected the profession of records and information management. Events have forced managers to reconsider how information and records management processes should be updated and improved. Information governance, or IG, is the overarching framework within which the records and information management program resides. Measures or standards are used to assure compliance in the creation, use, retention, and disposition of organizational information. This is the life cycle that we studied in Chapter 1. Standards are set for managing all records. Generally accepted record keeping principles. The principles were developed and published through ARMA International. The principles foster general awareness of information governance standards and principles. They are comprehensive in scope, but general in nature. They are intended to set forth the characteristics of an effective IG governance program. Records Program Management Guidelines should have common features. They should adhere to the ARMA rules or principles. They should be legally defensible retention schedule to reduce risk and legal liability. In other words, your company lawyer should be involved. They should have efficient procedures for managing each stage in the records life cycle, and there should be a well-trained staff. The RIM system may be centralized or decentralized. Centralized usually means that there's only one person making the decisions, whereas decentralized may have several people making decisions. Electronic records management tools have a number of acronyms that you've probably already noticed in this chapter. One of those is ECM, Enterprise Content Management. Another one is EDRMS, the Electronic Document Records Management System, and the third one is the AIIM, the Association for Information and Image Management. You only need to be familiar somewhat with these acronyms. A record system is a group of interrelated resources, people, equipment, supplies, space, procedures, and information. These resources act together according to a plan to accomplish the goals of the RIM program. 
Anything that interferes with the operation of these resources creates a problem in the record system. Some common problems and challenges are there's no overall plan for managing records problems, hoarding of records. Sometimes some of the records get stuck in a specific office that has checked them out, especially when you're working with uh, health care and you may have a number of doctors that check out the records. If they don't flow back to the records department, then we have the hoarding of records. Insufficient filing procedures, a poor use of the equipment, inefficient use of the space, and excessive costs. You do have to adhere to a budget. REM system problems have to do with uh, more documents are created that may or may not be records. REM professionals must be able to clearly differentiate, tell the difference in other words, between records and non-records as they manage information being generated, such as in chapter one when we were classifying those records or categorizing them. Privacy and security concerns and legal risks give rise to new laws and regulations. So in other words, there is continual change in the RIM system. Legislation seeks to balance and protect. It does the, it balances and protects the following things. The individual's right to privacy, the public's right to access the information, and the quest for security. All three of those things are very important in the balancing and protection. Managers must be certain that their company's record keeping systems are legally acceptable. As I mentioned earlier, they must get it cleared through their attorneys. E-discovery is the process of identifying and providing all relevant electronically stored information for a case. Careers in records management provide many opportunities to work with records in all types of offices and all sizes of offices. Some of the larger organizations have specialized staff in these levels, operating levels, advanced operating, a supervisory or even managerial or executive levels. And finally, a little more about the careers. The Institute of Certified Records Management is um, an organization that you can join as a records management. ARMA International, we've already talked about quite a bit that oversees some of the regulations that we make. Occupational Outlook Handbook, this is updated every year and will give you uh, the median salary in the professions, as in any profession just about, as well as the job outlook for that profession. ONET, the Occupational Information Network, Association for Information and Image Management, and the American Health Information Management Association, or AHIMA. AHIMA is responsible for many of the health uh, certifications such as RHIA and RHIT. End of this lecture.